to report in the rap Academy Award-winning actress Anne Hathaway is set to produce and star in an upcoming sci-fi comedy called The Shower. The story begins during a baby shower when the guests find themselves <laughs> witnessing a meteor shower, which turns men into aliens. The remaining women must fight to save themselves and the entire world. Hathaway has recently been seen in such films as Interstellar and Les Miserables, and will next be seen on the big screen with Robert De Niro in the film The Intern. Christian buys all the sounds of The Shower. <laughs> uh, can I buy the picture that Ray put up there? Uh, this sounds dumb. Uh, sell. Uh, it, <laughs> no, that's your argument. It's it. <laughs> it sounds dumb. Uh, and, and, and I don't know. It could be one of the most... It could be a clever script that I'm laughing my, my ass off to. I, I don't know. But from that... Hearing that paragraph turns men into aliens, and then they gotta <laughs> save the day. Like, well, well, who else is in it? What's it about? Who's directing it? This is. It sounds dopey to me. I'm a little torn on this. I, I am a little torn because, at first reading, it sounds dumb, and then I think, uh, well, maybe I'm being a bit sexist because if, if you describe the same movie to me and I and it said starring Seth Rogen and Jay Burchell, a, uh, meteors fall from the sky when they hit all every woman in the area that these meteors hits turn into aliens, and now Seth Rogen and Jay Burchell got to fight those aliens off. We're thinking, oh my gosh, this sounds like a great follow up to uh, this is the well, end. Wait, can and, I defend myself there on that point though? Because I don't. Oh, I'm, wanna, I'm not going against you. I'm talking no, about me. But as far as you know, even with the sexist thing too, because if you threw the same, if you told me that it was, uh, you know. Kristen Wiig and then Paul Feig directing and then Melissa McCarthy. Then I'd be like, oh, well, well what's that? That that sounds a little bit because she's. I don't associate her with that kind of goofiness. Yeah, see, I believe that about you, but I believe there's a latent <laughs> sexist in me. So I'm, I'm, so I'm saying maybe maybe that's the case because it sounds like it. It doesn't sound all that far off from a, this is the end, right? But I gotta sell it. The the dumbness of the description kind of overrides that a little bit. And and going back to the this is the end thing, it feels like we didn't we just have that movie kind of in a way. Now I will admit, seeing you know Anne Hathaway do a film like this, much like the Jennifer Lawrence doing a straight up comedy, kind of gets me intrigued with that. I am kind of intrigued that she's doing something like this. She's an Academy Award winner and doing something like this. That's interesting. It's a little bit outside of her regular comfort zone, so that's cool. But until you're exactly right. Until we hear who's directing it, a little bit more about what's going on in it, who are going to be her co-stars, for now i got to sell it. It sounds like something Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Schumer came up with when they were thrown. <laughs> um, but I, I I buy the premise. It's, it's original. something that I haven't heard of before. It's got shades of even something like Lissa Strada or something where the women have to rise up because the men just aren't doing their job. Earth Girls are easy. It's something like that, <laughs> a classic like that. It sounds, it, it sounds like it's ripe for comedy to me. And the fact that Anne Hathaway is in, if I just heard about this movie and no stars were attached or nobody I've heard of was attached, it, it sounds like a sci-fi original movie to me. But Anne Hathaway has some clout. She's got some star power. She wants to do this movie. I am a little bit more intrigued. And the premise did make me giggle when I read it. It sounds stupid and ridiculous, and it's not going to be a serious movie. If the comedy works, I'm going to like it. So I'll buy it. 